there's a, if you were to go on Wikipedia and type in uh, a, a town that I used to live in, New Holstein, Wisconsin, you will find out that approximately 3,000 people live there in the middle of nowhere, Wisconsin. And uh, I bring that up because sometimes when you move from one place to another, when you go from one place to another, it's, it's a rather uh, amazing or daunting experience. And so when I moved to the Twin Cities to, to attend Bible college and, and get my uh, theology degree, I ended up coming from a town, uh, a dairy milking farming community of a few thousand people to a metropolitan area with three million people. And so for me, that was a major, major change in how I, uh, how I experienced and how I looked at the world. And so for me, that was a difficult move. It was a trans transition. I, had, I wasn't used to all the traffic. I wasn't used to, to uh, all the lanes of highways. And uh, in fact, um, some of my family members, I know that uh, just the two-lane highway, right, two lanes on each side, that could, that could be pretty, pretty much of a struggle for them. And, uh, and so I remember that because I, I uh, ended up taking me a couple months to find a job because I'd put on my experience, well, milking cows, okay, well, how does that apply? And, uh, and so we've all gone through th things and stages and times in our life, in your life, where a difficult move or, or buying a home or a new job or, or whatever the case may be, these things can be difficult for any number of reasons, but it involves change, it involves transition. And the Feast of Pentecost, particularly for the Christian church, involved a change and transition. 